Hi, Gene here with today's thought. Today I want to talk about election fairness. But first I just have to mention my favorite TV show, one of my favorite TV shows and probably one of yours too, Columbo. Remember Columbo, the affable, lovable detective who always got his man or woman? Uh, well, there's something you can actually learn from uh, Columbo, and that's the way he f suspects somebody, uh, the way he zeroes in on a suspect, and he has a very, uh, very consistent and very good method, which I think is also the Sherlock Holmes method, which is to look at behavior, to look at how uh, a person behaves. For instance, when Columbo informs uh, somebody that uh, somebody has been murdered, watch the reaction of the, of, of the person he's informing, and the way the person reacts sometimes is a clue to, uh, well, that that person might be the person who committed the, the murder. Or there are other things. Just whenever somebody acts inconsistently with the way they should act if they're innocent, that sets up a, a warning signal, a red flag to Columbo. So that's what I want to talk about today in terms of election fairness. Now, a Democrat, in fact, they would, I think they're still doing it, YouTube, that they would, if I question the, the 2020 election, if I say it was that the Democrats cheated, that it wasn't fair, they would take this video down. So I can't say one way or the other, or the video will be taken down, which is, by the way, a good Point, time for me to mention. I put these videos on Rumble too, and maybe I'm going to mention this in every video and say, uh, stop watching me on YouTube, watch me on Rumble, because Rumble, I can say whatever I want, and no video will be censored. So the point I want to make now about election, uh, fairness, uh, election fairness, and the reason Colombo comes into it, is that it's obvious that the Democrats are working overtime to pre prevent Donald Trump from uh, even being the candidate, but to damage him before the, the 2024 election, if, as it seems almost certain, Trump is the nominee. Now, if the elect 2020 election was fair and if the candidates, again, are Trump and Biden, well, Biden beat Trump in 2020, assuming a fair election. So what are Democrats worried about? Why are they, they persecuting him with all these cases to, t to tar him and make it harder for him to uh, mount a successful, can successful campaign or to stop him from being the, the, the candidate at all? If Biden beat him once and it was fair, he should be able to beat him again. It should be no problem and they should just leave Trump alone and just let him run and uh, Biden will win. But I, I think that they, they are worried that Trump will win. And one of the reasons is because, well, Maricopa County, I talked about this in an earlier, um, earlier video where Maricopa County changed their election, federal election rules. So now, remember before, the, uh, there were questions about the ballots and signatures, and even now Maricopa County, the, the sec, uh, Kerry Lake has a, got a judgment from a, from a, in a court to be able to examine the, the ballots from the 2022 election, the gubernatorial uh, election, and see if signatures, you know, the check uh, signatures, verify signatures. And Maricopa County, the election uh, board, is fighting her and refusing to turn them over. And the now the, um, the head of the, the chairwoman of the relevant uh, election committee on, in the Arizona Senate is uh, filing a, a request for the records, and they have to be turned over. If not, she's going to sue. They must be turned over. But the point is Maricopa County is fighting, doesn't want anybody to see these ballots. And remember what the, the cyber ninjas had to go through in, in 2020. And re, remember also that um, what, what they had to go through, but also the logs, like something called the Splunk logs, which as far as I know, 
had not, well, they were never turned over. There was supposed to be an allowance for uh, people to come in, the cyber ninjas to go look at them. Uh, oh, no, to have a special, appoint a special master to look at the Splunk logs and then report to the Senate what, what they found. I have no idea how that turned out because the media stopped following the story. That's the other thing. They just don't report these things. So uh, they bury the news, just like the, the millions of dollars uh, that the Chinese Communist Party or Chinese Communist Party linked uh, uh, company paid to the Biden family, $1.3 million. So uh, you, you can see what they're up against, but Maricopa County changed their rules. So what's going to happen in the 2024 election is, first of all, the voting machines, if they, if they use electronic voting machines, they must be manufactured. Every uh, element of the machine must be ha, have been manufactured in the United States of America. No foreign, uh, um, con, no foreign machines, and the software must be on the um, must be American, made in America too, and it must be open source because that was another problem. Is that the the cyber ninjas wanted to in the Senate, uh, Arizona Senate wanted to look at the 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 code uh, the the you know the software the coding of the machines to check if there was anything not kosher about that and Dominion said well it's pri proprietary we're not going to let you look at it so now the rule is that this uh, the coding has to be open source so everybody including uh, you uh, including you and me the public gets to see it which brings us to the ballots. The ballots now, never, no more trying to going to court to get the ballots. They must be scanned and posted to the internet within 24 hours of the election. So every ballot will be on the internet where everybody, again, again, including you and me, will be able to see them. And finally, the logs. The logs too have to be posted. These logs that the that the, the Senate was, Arizona Senate was trying to get, they have to be posted within 24 hours. So you see, if you're running a fair election, you should have no problem with any of that. You want to be transparent. You want the public to, to see everything: the ballots, the 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 coding, the, um, the 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 logs. So we'll see if anybody objects to that. But if I mean, this is the law. This will happen in Maricopa County and who knows where else. But I could it be that the Democrats are worried now that if everything is transparent and open, that they will lose Maricopa County. Uh, the point being, again, if we're talking about fair elections, uh, why are they going after Trump? And, and we'll see what happens in Maricopa County, whether they, the, the Democrats fight this. I suspect that they will. But um, the point is that if the Democrats know that Maricopa County will be fair and open, uh, could they be worried that then they would lose the election because they couldn't, um, not saying uh, YouTube that they, they cheated in 2020. I'm only talking about the future. That this guarantees that they would not be able, nobody would be able, Republicans too, nobody would be able to cheat in Maricopa County in 2024. And that they must be worried that Trump could win. And uh, again, why should they be worried if Biden beat him once unless, well, the other possibility that they this will be a chance, a unique in our history for the electorate to look at a first Trump term, a first Biden term, and compare the two, first Republican, first Democrat, compare the two terms and see which one you you thought, which uh, person you thought, president you thought was better, and then people will render our judgment. So that's my thought for today. Thanks for stopping by. Looking forward to seeing you all again, I hope. And if you could subscribe, that would be great. Yada, yada, yada. And again, I'm on Rumble. Bye.